morning. It is Saturday and I am getting ready to head into work. And tomorrow is Sunday, which I have off. And then on Monday, I actually fly to St. Louis for a business trip. So I need to stop by the grocery store today to pick up some airport snacks and drop off my library books before they charge me while I'm on the trip. Yeah, I'm gonna eat breakfast and head to work. And that is the update. It's my Kiki. Let's go. Okay, so I just got off work and I stopped at Panera and got a charged lemonade because tomorrow's Sunday and we fly out on Monday and I don't really want to have to go out tomorrow if I can avoid it. So I want to get all my errands done while I'm out right now. And I know we're leaving for the airport at like 4 a.m. So it's going to be a pretty long early morning and nothing is going to be open. So I wanted to get caffeine ahead of time. So I picked up a charged strawberry mint lemonade. I swear this tastes like a fruit snack. It's so yummy. And it, I think it has like 200 milligrams of caffeine in it, but I got it and I'm gonna just keep it in the fridge for tomorrow and then drink it on Monday morning. And now I need to go drop off my library book and I wanna go to Goodwill to try and find a cozy oversized hoodie to wear to the airport because I don't really have any like oversized zip tie hoodies and I want something that I can easily take on and off in case it's cold or hot on the plane because I feel like I've been on planes where it's really cold and I'm freezing and then planes where I'm way too hot. So I just wanna be able to be prepared for both. And then lastly, I need to go to Fred Meyer to pick up some airport snacks and get my sister some ice cream. Uh, baby, that's a good thing. Good morning, it is 3 a.m. and my dad is going to be here in an hour to pick me up to take me to the airport. But first I wanted to do a little haul of the things I got for the trip. At Goodwill is where I found this sweatshirt, which is perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something that can zip up and down so that I can take it off if it's hot on the plane and keep it on if it's cold. And also if they make me take it off for TSA, super simple. And it was on sale because it had a huge stain on it. So it was only like $6.99 and then I put it through the wash and the stain came right out. So it was super cheap and it's Nike and one of my favorite colors. So I'm very happy about this one. Then for snacks, I picked up some of my favorite airplane snacks, these smoked Gouda Triscuits. I love these because they pass through TSA because they're crackers, so they're completely dry and they're just a very nice, filling, savory snack. And then I also got these little crackers, Biscoff crackers. I guess they're Biscoff cookies or biscuits, whatever you want to call them. But they are one of my favorites too. I thought this would be perfect too because again, they're dry, so they're gonna pass the TSA. And then I have a savory and a sweet snack. And I also grabbed a pack of gum. Then the only product that I didn't have a travel size version of was deodorant, so I just grabbed one of those. That's what I did. And then now I'm gonna start packing. I'm already drinking my lemonade. And I'm gonna start with toiletries that I'm gonna put in this little makeup bag. So I think I'm just going to use my basics. I'm not gonna bring any extra makeup other than what I use every day normally, just to save space. So I'm gonna make half my makeup bag my makeup and then the other half the rest of my toiletries. So I'm gonna start off by taking out the things I know I won't use. So I always use my Burt's Bees primer and eyeshadow primer. So these are definite yeses. Although I think this one will need to go in my liquids bag. I always use my Laura Mercier powder. I have these OG contour sticks and I think I'm just gonna use the bronzer. I don't really use the other two very much, but I use the bronzer fairly frequently. And I don't know if that one needs to be a liquid because it's technically like a cream. I think I'll put it in there because I'm not going to need a ton of liquid, so I'll have enough space for it. 
concealer, foundation obviously. I'll put my eyebrow gel and my mascara with the liquid. Then I'm gonna grab my makeup brushes that I use. This is my powder brush, my foundation brush. Then I use these two eyeshadow brushes. And lastly, I use this one to do eyeliner with eyeshadow. I, use, I basically like get it wet and dip it in the eyeshadow and then do a little bit of a liner with it. And it's just a softer look. So now I think I'm gonna grab my little travel size container so I can start putting my toiletries where they belong. And another awesome thing is I got a bunch of travel sized little face washes, moisturizers, everything like that from my most recent Ulta order. So I have perfect face washes that I can bring all ready, ready. I'm gonna bring this CeraVe one for like more of a makeup removing face wash and then this one for more of an actual face wash in the little travel bag they go and this one only has i think 1.69 fluid ounces so i'm just gonna bring this whole thing because this is the one i use all the time done okay so i have my makeup brushes my makeup a couple of extra claw clips tampons my toothbrush stomach medicine advil I know I put it in my seed container, but it's Advil. Then I have my floss picks, Q-tips, and some extra jewelry in here that are my staple pieces. And this is my toiletry bag. It'll be a lot more filled when I get through TSA. I'll put my toiletries in this section. Good morning. It is, is it Monday now? No, it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday and I am in St. Louis and my skin is honestly the worst that it has probably ever been since like middle school and the foundation that i bought you can kind of see it but i just did a full face of makeup to fix that but the foundation that i bought that was a different shade is too yellow and that is the one that i accidentally packed so i feel like i look like a smurf and I just, it's not, it's not giving. But I'm about to get dressed to head to breakfast and then we're going to the convention center. So just gonna get through the day. But I am about to get dressed. We're gonna head to the convention center. I'm gonna grab some breakfast first and I will take you with me. This is my little vanity setup. I just put my brushes in a cup so they could get some more air and then makeup and everything set up here. The shower in this hotel is really nice because it's just like a run-of-the-mill hotel. It's nothing special, so this is a really nice shower. Then this is my room. I made my bed this morning because I am staying for two days, so they asked if I wanted housekeeping, and I just said no. Then I put my little snacks in here. My laptop, I put my cords there. Then I just put my folding clothes in this drawer. I try to keep it all consolidated so I don't forget anything, but then I just hung up my outfits here. I hung this up for my dirty clothes, my suitcase is there, and then this is my little folder for work and my shoes. Okay, so this is the fit. I'm honestly feeling a lot better after getting dressed, just feeling more put together and less ugly. So, it is like seven, it's like 7.30 right now. The shuttles leave at eight. So I'm gonna go downstairs and grab some breakfast. Hey, I'm walking here. Day two, I am all packed and ready to go because we are leaving straight to the airport after the first half of the day and our flight isn't until 6 p.m. and we're gonna get to the airport at around like one or two which I actually appreciate because then I'll just have time to kind of 
chillax before coming home and I have Thursday off, which is really nice. But I, it's the day two fit. So the training day went by super fast and I am back in the St. Louis airport. We have a few hours till our flight. We leave here at 6.10 and then we have a layover in Denver and then we fly back to Oregon. So we still have like two hours. So I am just walking around and listening to music to get some more steps in before sitting on a plane for the rest of the day because training we were obviously sitting down pretty much the whole day too so I just want to get some movement going 